2018 Subaru WRX SDI Type Ra is a limited edition version of the Japanese automaker's iconic rally-derived sports coupe. Only 500 units are headed to America, and, with a price tag just shy of $50,000, every single one is likely to be scooped up by true Subaru enthusiasts. The Ra moniker stands for Record Attempt. The SDI lapped the Nürburgring in fewer than 7 minutes. The Type Ra differs from the regular model in a few ways, most notably the lighter weight and adjustable carbon fiber rear wing. The car also uses carbon fiber on the roof to lower the center of gravity. Other changes include a 5 horsepower bump, 19 inch BBS wheels, bill sign dampers, and a few changes to interior and exterior trim. It doesn't transform so much as refine an already hot product. Editor in chief Greg Migliori, rock solid chassis, hair trigger clutch, tight chassis, heavy steering, black coffee, no need for solid foods. This was my lunch on a gray Thursday as I wake up in Downward Word Avenue in the Subaru WRX SDI type rock. It's a riot. This thing sounds like a hooligan and most of the time behaves like one, too. I spent a lot of time in second and third gears with the revs around 5000, just because. Need to slow things down? The brakes are spot on, with quick bite and little pedal travel. The seats are supportive and nicely bolstered. It's a little harsh at lower speed, something I noticed as I cruised through the Verdant Cranbrook campus in Metro Detroit. So yeah, I like the SDI. This one, done up in rot trim, is a limited edition model with a carbon wing and roof. It's lighter and has 5 more horsepower. If you love the SDI and the Raw, where record attempt, has meaning to you, sure, try to get one of these unicorns. Only 500 will be made and they are not cheap, ours is 50 grand. Otherwise, just buy a regular SDI. Or if it were me, a WRX. Still, I can see the allure of this rare Subaru. Parting shot, this car also reminds me how much fun sedans are. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, the Subaru SDI is a riot to drive, and as a recently reformed WRX owner, it feels familiar every time I get in it. Such is the case with the Type Rock, which I also had the pleasure of driving at the track at Thermal Club in California. In the real world, it's still fun. But overall, I'd not spend the extra money for the tight rock. This time around, I was driving in traffic on public roads, including highway traffic jams and some long country sweepers. The weight discipline makes a palpable difference in the way this car hugs the road. The wing, not so much. Everything about this car is taut and tense, from the suspension to the clutch pedal to the short throws of the shifter and the steering. It makes it entertaining, but it's a bit of a workout. In traffic, my left leg started to cramp after working the clutch for an hour. There's a lot of noise, especially at highway speeds where the car cruises with the tag needle pointing due north. I arrived home a bit more exhausted than usual. Manager, Production, Eddie Sabatini this special edition Subi is a lot of fun to drive. Rugged and powerful, I really felt like it wanted to play rough. I'm not convinced that the extra dollar 12 com plus make the limited production rob it much better to drive than the classic SDI, but they're only making 500 of these so don't worry about having to make the decision. I like this carbon fiber wing of the raw better than the SDI but the infotainment system still needs an upgrade. I was also expecting to be smacked in the face with a ton of SDI and raw badging, inside and out, but the branding seems surprisingly restrained for being the beast at the top end of the WRX spectrum. Overall I think the look is fantastic. I tend to think that the SDI is a bit too juvenile looking but I didn't find myself thinking that with the raw. Perhaps it was the grey carbon fiber roof, black mirror, and slimmer spoiler that create a more subtle profile.